Okay, so in this video, I'll be focusing on doing the setup for the Wi-Fi touchscreen. Um, so I'm only going to try to log in and show you guys how to use um, and download and update uh, the Google Play Store. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is connect to our Wi-Fi. Let's go to settings. Um, and then from settings, we're going to have, we're going to make sure that the Wi-Fi is connected. So if you can see right there, Wi-Fi is on. And then I'm going to look through and I'm going to find my Wi-Fi. In this case, it's iPhoenix. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And then right away, you can see your signal strength. So if it says good, it's going to be okay. Um, if it says poor, uh, you're, you might have some buffering issues. Um, but you want to get excellent. If you can get excellent, you're going to have really good um, Wi-Fi and you'll be able to watch videos and use your tablet uh, very efficiently. So, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my password in. So put in your Wi-Fi password for your Wi-Fi, okay? Okay, so I already went ahead and I put in my password. Now I'm going to connect. And you're going to wait until it says connected. If you can see, it says connected. So I'm good to go. Now I can go ahead and exit and go and update my Google Play Store. Okay, so once we're done with our Wi-Fi, connecting to our Wi-Fi, we go ahead and go to apps. Now when you go to this step, it will ask you for a password. The password is five times the number eight. And after the fifth try, it shouldn't ask you anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and it should op open um, the back part of the apps and the Google Play Store and YouTube and everything. So I'm gonna go back and show you guys. Okay, so this is where we were. And again, it'll ask us for the password. And like I said, after the fifth try, shouldn't ask you anymore. Okay. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the Play Store. Now, this is a part where Google is gonna ask you for an existing account or to create a new one. Now, don't put new, put existing. We're gonna go ahead and put our Gmail account and our password. Okay, so I went ahead and put my Gmail account and my password and then I'm going to click done and then it's going to say by signing in you agree to the Google Terms and Services I click OK give it a few minutes maybe less it's going to say unfortunately uh, it has stopped me you just say OK and then back up and restore you just click next you accept and now we've opened up the Google Play Store now this is the old version as you can see I got three messages up there so if you slide your finger you'll be able to see the security alert that means my Gmail has been connected to the tablet now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna exit you can see it says um, this is the old version. So right now I'm just waiting for it to change um, to the new version because it just opened. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and see if it changes by itself. If not, then I'll go ahead and change it on my own. gonna check the time right now it's 7 20 okay so I'm just gonna wait a few minutes okay so I'm back and it did take exactly around five minutes just because it took me a minute to get my phone um, but I was stunned standing here in front of it so I was checking the time um, so now if you can see it changed to the new updated version of Google Play Store so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and it'll look like this now so now I can go ahead and download the apps that I want. So for example, I really like Pluto TV. Pluto TV is a free um, TV app. So I'm gonna go ahead and install. 
yes I accept it's gonna go ahead and start downloading waiting for download and then I can go back and I can try other um, another app that I like is Spotify you can download iTunes you can download so many apps from here I don't know Instagram Facebook so I'm just gonna have a little fun here and download some apps and then yeah well I'll just download one for now I guess um, and then let's just get out of here and then if you go ahead and lower this part right here you can start seeing your Google Play services and one updated that needs approval so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to see what's going on I think it has to do with YouTube and all the the apps that were already included um, so they can be updated too so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that now let me backtrack a little bit let's pretend this didn't change okay one thing you can do is sorry Click here on your Google Play um, settings. Go all the way down to where it says, oh, I think the other one looks a little different, so I don't know. But there is one that says settings. There should always be one that says settings. And then you go all the way down to where it says Play Store version. So you're going to click there. And then it's gonna say a new version of Google Play will be downloaded and installed and you say okay so that's gonna get it going in case you're having trouble okay um, now if that doesn't work I suggest you reset the screen altogether but it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes okay to get updated now let me see I already downloaded the app so let me get out of here Right now, Google Settings is downloading, so I'm just gonna let it let it finish. Yeah, we already knew that. Okay, so it's already running because my app is already downloaded. Stop moving. Yay, it's working. Not for sale. When I look at my old clothes now, I see dollar signs. Just this month, I've made a couple hundred dollars on Poshmark, just selling items out of my closet. Download the okay. Poshmark app. So one thing I want you guys to remember is it does have to be in line in the mode for it for you to hear the sound on the screen, okay? And then you can raise it from here. Your first order. Download the free Poshmark. And also make sure that in the back, if it's on aux, you won't hear anything on the screen. If you put it on audio. Yeah, make sure it's on audio, not aux, okay? Alrighty, so we're gonna go back. We know you've got your hands full at home. I'm building a spaceship. So Instacart Okay, here. so that worked. Okay, so another question that I've gotten is, how do I log out of my Gmail? Now that I used it to download and to update the system, I don't want it on here. I want to get it out. Um, you can. So all you have to do is go to the Play Store. And once you download it and done, you know, updated everything, you can go ahead and click here. This is where your Gmail should be. And then where it says manage your Google account, you go ahead and click there. Did I click it? No, I didn't. Okay, there we go. And it's going to take you here. Give it a few seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And I don't know if you see right there. I'm going to click my Gmail again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and click with his manage accounts on this device. I feel like I'm not clicking. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to click this one. And then it's going to take you to the settings. You're going to go ahead 
and click on this side right here on the right side and then you're gonna click remove account and then it's gonna ask you if you want to remove your account removing this account will delete all of its messages contacts and other data from the device so this is not only gonna log you out of the Google Play Store it's gonna log out your Gmail as well so anybody that's on here will not have access to your Gmail if that's the only one you have um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click remove account. And you're going to click OK. And then you're going to get out. Okay, and that should have logged you out. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the Play Store. And there we go. Now, whoever wants to download or... Um, they can't use your account you have to input it again for you to download again or you know nobody can touch your account anymore nobody can see your account because you logged out if you go to gmail same thing and then if you go to um your apps that already have been downloaded and have been updated if you can see my my email is no longer there so now i have to sign in and i can freely use it now without anybody's history or you know anybody have thank you anything on there and i can use it with no problem with no account okay so that's something that um some people have asked me hopefully that answered it um you can always come back and check out this video if you guys have more questions like i said just please let me know in the comment section and i'll go ahead and try to make some time and make some more videos to show you how to use it um what else what other questions have i had before um maybe it just getting out of here let me get out um you can play around with this so for example you can add or replace i want in this case i want to add and I want to put YouTube in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and click YouTube. And now it's here in the front instead of being in the background. I have it here. And you can play around. You can keep adding if you want. Um, you can also remove. So if I want to remove. Um, replace. Or add. Say Pluto TV. Okay, and it doesn't delete them, it just removes them from the front. Just put them in, you know, you see how this one was in the front? Just brought it to the back. Um, that's all it does. Um, so that's fun. You can also change your wallpaper if you want to change your wallpaper. Say, I want that one instead. Um, you can see your downloads here, or you can see your media player. Um, the way this one works is if you have a USB or SD card, with files let's see pictures or videos um preferably in mp3 format for music uh, mp4 for videos you can go ahead and put them in here whichever one and it'll appear here it'll say usb or sd you click on it and then you have the option to choose we can even have apps on it um download them and use them very fun don't forget you also have control over the volume here so sometimes, sometimes the factory, see, I don't know if you saw that, has the volume like right here or the volume's right here. You could leave it all the way to max and then that way you'll just be able to control it with this one right here, the, the master volume. And that's it. Like I said, if you have any more questions, please let me know. Some people have complained about why it looks like it has some lines or it's not clear or... Um, I don't know if you guys can see that through my camera, but some people have said it's not very clear. I just want you to remember that it does have a protective layer. So if you, for example, you can see the lines right there, right? If you remove this, the line should go away, okay? Just a friendly reminder. Thanks everyone for watching and please subscribe for more tutorials. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comments.